Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a reaction video to Avenge Sevenfold's uh, second song that they released three days ago called We Love You. This is from their new album. I'm not sure when it's coming out, but Life is But a Dream is the name of it. I did a review of uh, a reaction to Nobody, which was the first song that they released. And I absolutely love that song. I loved it from the first time that I heard it. And I did see a lot of people either say they absolutely loved it, Avenged Sevenfold's doing something way out of the box, and that they loved that they were kind of experimenting and other people just did not understand it. So I'm really excited to see how this song plays off of Nobody and see if it's kind of like a story or what other stuff we should be expecting. But honestly, at this point, I already know to expect the unexpected. So I have no preconceived notions on what this is gonna sound like. So let's get into Avenged Sevenfold. We love it. I gotta pause it there. I absolutely am already hooked. I'm not even listening to the whole song. I totally get what they are trying to do with this album. I did see a couple interviews with M Shadows, who is the lead singer, talking about how this is pretty much a spiritual journey. Maybe some people would call it an acid trip. Um, you know, higher self kind of vibe, and I get it. And Oh my god, I'm really excited, so let's get back into it. Yes. 
Wow. Okay, I totally, absolutely loved it. And like I said, I knew that it was going to be different from Avenged Sevenfold, but you still got some amazing guitar riffs in there. And Shadow's voice sounds amazing. I love the different um, genres that they're pulling from in this. And I do hear, uh, reminds me some parts of Mr. Bungle, which um, is the lead singer, uh, Mike Patton. He's in Faith No More. Um, also in Lovage, which I absolutely love Lovage. And if you have not heard of Lovage and you love Mike Patton, check that out. But I definitely can see um, Mr. Bungle influence in this song. And I thought it was freaking amazing. And I love that they're stepping out of the box. And uh, watching an interview with M Shadows, you know, these guys have been touring forever. And if they were just to stick to the same old stuff, it would not challenge them or excite them. So I totally understand. And 2023 is just the year of people being completely creative and artistic and maybe trying some things that not everybody's going to like because I'm sure the old Se Avenged Sevenfold who love Unholy Confessions and Backcountry and stuff like that probably are going to kind of find it hard to relate to this and that's okay. Um, but we grow up and I can see a complete difference on this album and I am so excited to hear the rest of it and I cannot wait to see them live with Kim Dracula, who's doing his own shit, falling in reverse. They're doing their own shit. Um, so it's not just sticking to that one metal genre. And I feel like a lot of people, I've said it before, I love metalheads. I consider myself one, but metalheads are the worst gatekeepers. And I think 2023 is the time to kind of let that go and let people get inspiration from hip-hop, from R&B, whatever they need to pull from, but this is pretty much, this whole album is like an acid trip, and I am fucking loving it. So, this is super, super great. I did see a lot of negative comments, and I was like, oh man, I hope it's not bad, because I do love Adventure Sevenfold, and I want them to put out stuff that, you know, makes them happy, and makes, you know, us want to go see their concerts, too. Um, so I'm a big fan. I cannot wait to play this for my husband because I feel like he's actually going to really like it too. So Avenge Sevenfold, if you are a fan, let me know what you thought about this song. And also, if you love the song, do you consider it metal or what genre would you consider what Avenge Sevenfold is doing now? Let me know in the comments. And always please like, subscribe, share this video so that we can make a nice little community of metalheads and people that just want to talk about music with me because I live for doing these videos. It has been so fun for me. So even with my tiny little amount of subscribers, thank you so much for liking my videos and watching them because I really appreciate it. And this has definitely given me something to really dig my teeth into and I love every minute of it. So I just want to thank you guys so much for hopefully subscribing to me and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this song and I will see you guys in the next video and take care.